Hey guys, how's it going out there? I'm Veggie Rolls. It's so repetitive, I'm always saying the same thing. If this is your first time, blah, 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 blah. Anyways, if you've never been here before and you're interested in vegan food, go ahead, click on the subscribe button and hit the little notification bell because the notification bell will notify you when a new video goes up, which I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. And I usually, not usually, always post a uh, sweet vegan treat or vegan dessert on Saturday. So if you're interested in sweets and vegan food, don't forget to subscribe. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a vegan tamales recipe. And if you guys have seen my old vegan tamales recipe, then you know this is the second tamales recipe. But this is like a upgrade like times 10 from that recipe. So much so that I'm possibly thinking about deleting that recipe because this recipe is so much better. Like that's how determined I am to give you guys only the best. So why keep that recipe up when I have one that's way better for you? So, or not necessarily way better for you, but way better tasting. So, um, yeah, are we gonna get started or what? Let's get veggie. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started by adding in about two tablespoons of vegetable oil into a pan and next I'm gonna be tossing into that half of a red onion chopped up. You can use any color onion you like. And then I'm also gonna be adding in half of a red bell pepper. I actually like the red bell pepper. I prefer the red bell pepper in this recipe over any other peppers because it gives it like a nice sweet flavor. And not sweet flavor like in a, dessert kind of sweet, but just like a nice savory sweet. And we're gonna go ahead and cook this until um, our onions are sort of like, not necessarily car caramelizing, but sort of like browning a little bit. And if you guys have been with me for a while, then you know that every time that I'm stir frying or something, or sauteing, that I like to add a little bit of salt and pepper, always to that layer to bring all those delicious flavors out. This is at a medium high heat, by the way. So this is what I was looking for, for the onions to get like slightly browned. All right, and next I'm gonna be adding one cup of refried beans, and these are vegan friendly uh, refried beans. I get the ones that are fat free because usually the ones that are not fat free have uh, animal lard, and uh, that's, well, not vegan, of course. And we're gonna go ahead and just mash this into the veggies and just get it all nice and incorporated. And next we're gonna go ahead and add in half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of paprika, and half a teaspoon of oregano. And we're just gonna go ahead and mix that all together. And at this point you can do some salt and pepper to taste. And our filling is all set, so we're gonna go ahead and place it to the side until we finish making our uh, masa. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with our masa, and I'm doing a cup and a half of instant corn masa. And this is what my uh, bag looks like, in case you're wondering. It just says masa, and it says instant, it says instantanea de maíz, but in the bottom you'll see it says instant corn masa flour. We're also gonna be adding in one cup of red enchilada sauce. And you're probably wondering like, what? The reason we're adding this red enchilada sauce is to give it so much awesome flavor um, into our tamales, which tamales are, are uh, sometimes made with, or I should say a lot of times made with um, like the dried peppers and they'll rehydrate them and go through the whole process and blend them and all that stuff. But I've noticed that in the ingredients to this enchilada sauce, it has peppers and all that good stuff. So I tried it one time and I absolutely fell in love. So it works just fine. And it's a super, super easy shortcut. Again, like I said, not authentic, but it's still absolutely delicious. I'm also adding in half of a cup of vegetable oil. I'm also adding in half a cup of water, a fourth of a teaspoon of cumin, and one teaspoon of salt. And now we go ahead and mix all of this together. I usually do this mixture by eye. Um, so coming up with the actual recipe was pretty interesting. 
And now I'm just cutting some aluminum foil to about six inches across. And I'm actually cutting six pieces. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and place these on the edge of my countertop so that I can cut these in half. So using the edge of my countertop, I just kind of like pulled one side and the other side. And now you just want to have 12 aluminum foils. And like I said, this is not an authentic recipe. And like I like to do things easy and quick and I like them to taste delicious. So using the aluminum foil would just make it so much easier and faster. You don't have to go through the process of soaking them or any of that. You just get aluminum foil and they taste just as good. I have a fourth of a cup of water here, but I'm just going to add half first and see what happens. You want this to be like the consistency of like, I don't know, like ice cream probably. And then we're, we're just gonna go ahead and do the whole fourth of a cup. I think the reason they came out, this batter came out a tiny bit uh, harder than usual is because I usually add in um, more oil, but since I know a lot of you guys are either oil free or don't like to use that much oil, I decided to make the batter a little less oily but um yeah so that's why you have to add a little tiny bit so now as you can see if you can spread it like that that's what you want so you just want to fill um your like aluminum foil nicely like that like a little square of the batter then we're gonna do about a heaping tablespoon of your filling in the center. And then what I like to do is fold from this side all the way over to this side until it's like kind of like even on the other side with the other side of this. So you want the batter to be like on the same, you know, kind of touching there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and fold over this side and then at the bottom, we're gonna go ahead and sort of like squeeze and then fold that over. And there we have our first tamal ready. And we're gonna keep doing this until we have all 12 done. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and steam these guys. I actually got 10 from this batch. I think it's because I was kind of like snacking on the batter as I was making them. Um, but I just can't help it. The batter is so yummy to me. I love corn stuff. All right, so I go, I'm gonna go ahead and stand these up like this. We're gonna cook them or steam them this way so that everything doesn't leak out. And we're gonna go ahead and cover these and steam this. I'm gonna start counting the whole steaming process once our water starts to bubble. Um, and we're gonna steam it for an hour. So we've gone ahead and taken our tamales out of our steamer. And this is what our tamales look like. Ooh, that is hot, girl boy. All right, let me get you a more pretty one. So, here we go. Here is our tamal, and it looks absolutely beautiful, and it looks equally as pretty on both sides. If you scrunch it up when you put it into the steamer, then it'll look a little scrunch up like this guy. But for the most part, they should look like this. They're nice and soft. So basically, when you take these out of the steamer, they might be still a little soft, so you just let them cool down for a few minutes, like 10 or 15 minutes, and then they become nice and firm and ready to go. All right, you guys, you know what time it is. It's time for the taste test cam. We have our tamal right here, and this is a piece of the tamal because the rest is like really hot, so I just like cut a piece with my fork. We're going in. Mmm. Woo, hot. Not hot spicy, but hot, like just fresh off the steamer hot. So absolutely good. I love this tamales recipe, and I think if you try it out, you're gonna absolutely love it too. It's like so, ugh, I don't even know how to explain it. It's just delicious. It's absolutely, absolutely delicious. It's a, it's a, and it's, it's just, ugh, no words. So good, that's it. <laughs> try it out and let me know what you guys think. So that's it, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a big old thumbs up if you liked it. Also, don't forget to tag me on Instagram, hashtag let's get veggie, hashtag veggie rolls, if you make this recipe or any of my other recipes. I would love to know what you think. 
and love to know how it turned out and see what it looks like and all that good stuff. And yeah, I will talk to you guys very, very soon. Bye, guys.